Hi everyone, welcome along today. We're going to look at today bad smells in the bathroom. And I don't mean the smells you get when your partner's just been in there. No, what I'm talking about is <laughs> drain smells. You know, when you get this odd drain smell now and again, you might get it all the time. And sometimes you get it from the kitchen sink. When, a lot of times when the washing machine's just gone and left a nasty smell behind it. It's a bit strange what's happened there. It's just emptied, finished, and finally there's this strange pong. Well, <laughs> there is a device that can cure a lot of these problems, and this is it here. And this is what I'm going to do a video on today. This is an air admittance valve, and I'm going to be fitting this to a bit of my plumbing here, and I'm going to show you for why, because I do get the odd smell in the bathroom as well. And no, it's not me or Jane, honest. <laughs> so, for me, I get the odd bad smell coming from the bathroom when the washing machine has been used. Yeah, it sounds a bit strange, doesn't it? But we had a new washing machine about six months ago and it started literally as we had bought this new machine. Nothing else had changed plumbing wise, but I figured that the new machine is a lot more powerful motored. The old machine was about 30 years old now and I don't know how it was still going. Uh, and I think the pump is so much stronger now when it evacuates the water from the machine on that last spin out that it powers down the pipe really hard and sucks everything inside. Now it didn't suck out the kitchen sink because that's on the same line because I'd already fitted a anti-siphon trap on there. So what I didn't realise is that when I got right under the floor and examined where the waste was going the, the bath waste goes into the same pipe so consequently as the water tore past it sucked the water out of the trap dry. Now it's a little bit of fit a siphonic trap in there, so I think I, I thought it might be better actually fitting a valve, an air admittance valve, they call them AAV. <laughs> Strange name, I know. So what well, I'm going to show you fitting a valve under the floor now, because that's where my plumbing is under there. Unfortunately, I'd like to run the pipes directly to the stack like they should all be really, they all have their own supply but there's walls and all sorts in the way for me that I can't get the pipe through uh, and there's obviously block flooring above which makes it really awkward to get that up to get down there to change it and I can see now why it's been done that way, why it's stabbed in there on that line where really it should have its home feed to the stack. So if you've got this kind of problem the ultimate answer is really to run a, a separate pipe into the stack but sometimes as I say it's just not possible and um, there's a lot of bad plumbing about these days where wastes are connected to each other and you get all kind of pulling of problems with air and you get a drag out once those traps get emptied out you're open to smells from the drain so this one is what this is about this sitting you know, of this thing it's about trying to alleviate that from happening so We'll go under the floor next on the next shot and we'll see about fitting this thing in to the bath waste before it stabs into the flow feed waste pipe that's coming from the kitchen sink. So we'll go under there now. Before fitting it, I'll just show you this little thing a little bit more closely. Air admittance valve and it's a, got a nut and ring to connect onto the pipe. Okay, on that end it's going to be a compression one. Uh, you can get push fit ones as well I believe. This one's made by Flowplast and it's got a kind of little valve in there. You can hear it rattling in there. Basically what it does, it allows air in but it doesn't allow smells out. So it's quite a simple little kind of one way device if you like. This will vent that pipe so that when that washing machine water dashes down that pipe and it goes to pull the bath waste trap out so that it opens it to the smell. This will let air in and stop that from happening. That will kind of negative the pressure as it were and leave the bath waste trap still intact. So I shouldn't get any smells after the wash machine has gone. It's the only time I ever get it in there and it's only started happening obviously as I say since I bought a new wash machine. Much powerful pump obviously. So anyway, we'll go underneath now and I'll show you where we're going to fit this. Here I am then, under the floor of my house. Not a very nice place to be really. And, <laughs> never mind. As you look up there, you can see my bathway is coming down there. And you can see the problem, here it is. There's a T-piece right here. This is the one, it rushes past here. And it pulls the 
trap out on the bath waste up there. Okay, so we're at the stage where I've cut the pipe through. I've cut a piece out of it, that width, so that it's ready to pull back and slide back on the other end. I haven't welded it on yet. You can see it's all loose. I've just stuck it on to show you. Uh, these are solvent weld teeth, so I'm going to be using this stuff here Osma, to glue it on with. Make sure it's nice and dry, the joints are not obviously wet, so make sure they're dry for using it. Now I've shoved my upright piece in and you can see I've got the T on there now so now it's just a case of the Drago itself there's a washer there and there'll be another little washer that I've already spinned in there you can see in there that one there okay and then we're ready to plop that on and just do it up hand tight so there we have it all in position and fitted only means now to try it out and see if we get that old smell back there we are then a useful device for trying to stop those Horrible drainy smells that you sometimes get. Can be used anywhere, as I say, kitchen sink, and can be used on baths and basins, anywhere. You often find them actually on your soil stack if you've got a little short stubby bit that's sticking up in the bathroom behind a box. It's probably got one of those air emittance valves in here. They're often called Drago valves. Bit of a mouthful, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Usual place, all my stuff. You know where to go. Thanks very much, guys. Bye bye.